installation and configuration guide for Parker's CPS continuous position sensor onto a pneumatic actuator. Parker's CPS is available with either an I.O. link feedback signal or analog with both 0 to 10 volt and 4 to 20 milliamp output. There are five measuring ranges available up to 256 millimeters. The installation and configuration is common for all configurations. Note that the CPS is suitable for direct mount to any T-slot cylinder. If another cylinder style is to be used, such as a round body cylinder, separate brackets will be required. The first step is to install the CPS to the proper operating voltage. Note the difference between the M8 analog connection versus the M12 I.O. link. Next, move the position of the cylinder to the desired starting point, also referred to as zero point, and insert the CPS into the slot or bracket with the cable pointing back towards the zero point. Slide the CPS so the yellow LED is illuminated. Now, slide the CPS away from the zero point until the yellow LED turns off. Then, slide the sensor back towards the zero point until the yellow LED is illuminated again. Secure the CPS using the set screws, and this completes the installation. Configuration of the Parker CPS can be done with the teach button for both analog and I.O. link part numbers. With the CPS properly installed and the piston in the zero position, press and hold the teach button for two seconds. The LED should blink and you can release the teach button. The zero point has been stored. Next, set the piston position for the end point of the desired measurement range. Press the teach button and the measurement range has been stored. The analog signal or I.O. link process data is now configured to this range. Move the piston from zero point to end point and check to ensure the LED remains lit. If the LED turns off during the desired range, repeat the configuration steps. To reset the measurement range to the maximum possible range, press and hold the teach button for 5 seconds. If using the I.O. link version of the Parker CPS, the measuring range can be configured using parameter commands and the teach button can also be locked out. Refer to the installation guides for more details. Thank you for considering the Parker CPS Continuous Position Sensor as a solution to your automation needs. Please visit our website for more information, including technical specifications, CAD downloads, and more.